After his wife's death, Fernando becomes a quiet and introspective man who raises his son, Daniel, by himself every night while the boy sleeps. He released his vibes by touching her clothes and organizing her personal belongings. The fullest 2015 release drama and the title of the movie are To My Blood. It is a short that by itself already presents in an economical and elegant way. The tragedy of the protagonist, who in the search of the wife who occupied those now empty dresses, turns his back on his present and his future, including himself there, the child he fathered. However, when delivering into his partner's personal effects, Fernando ends up finding tapes recorded in a hotel room, and says on his television the record of a betrayal he was unaware of, and which even more painful includes his wife declaring to her lover that he was the best thing that happened in her life, devastated the widower, who works, has a photographer, of the civil police soon discovers the identity of a subject in the video, and use his religion as a motivating element, manages to rent the shed located at the back of the house that Salvador shares with his wife, and with their two daughters, including the teenager ESD. They take him to Salvador and Excon committed, who has already buried his extramarital affair. He says he follows a correct life and has a childless worker with a wife to support. However, Fernando who knocks on his door does not come for an immediate revoking. He infiltrates his family by lying about wanting to start over, staying in the apartment for rent, and observing every detail of theirs. The story of the couple's relationship, the life and death of Anna, the hospital bed in a couple's room, the clipping of the girl's past on a tape, the registration of her marriage, the fact that both are lawyers and so on. In the same way, it is, a uh, revealing to see how the rooms were. Yuna and Salvador found themselves very cheap, dirty and unpleasant, contrasting romance with an unromantic and far from idolized reality. And here again, the director and the design producers create a strong and beautiful image full of symbolism where Fernando sees himself in a mirror of one of the rooms and a broken piece of it ends up causing an emptiness, literally. But with metaphor tunes, the film is at least entertaining, has an average revenge thriller, a nice mix of character study, and a thriller from a promising Brazilian talent.